Here we are back at the planting pits today and uh, because I have some considerations to do regarding the hold on Emmanuel net one hand only regarding the structure in the river. Um, so this is the compost that we'll be using. Um, not using as much of it because it's not completely completely gone. You can see they'll see. You can still see there's a more worm there, but uh, there's still a little bit of sticks and things in it. So I'm not sure. It doesn't smell like there's any ammoniac in it, but I'm scared that we poison the plants, kill the plants. So we're just putting a hand uh, into each hole, and then um, we'll be. We'll be planting this. Now, I've been at the shops yesterday trying to find more different grains and things like that. And uh, because I was under the impression the guys told me that uh, um, this was finished. I, I don't know why this name keeps on slipping whenever I make a video. The sorghum. Uh, we misunderstood each other somehow. I was under the impression the sorghum was finished. So I tried to buy sorghum yesterday, tried to buy cowpeas yesterday, couldn't find any. And then I thought, okay, well, let's have a look and see what native pumpkins or anything, watermelons or anything like that was left. This is some native thorny watermelons. And then I found the sorghum seed. So I'm happy about that. Um, but th that will not be enough for everything. My biggest fear here is two things. Um, water. I don't know. We will definitely not be able to water this patch. Even though the water is close, our water is a problem currently. Uh, with it being on sometimes and off most of the times. And we've just been trying to keep everything alive that we, that we can. So watering for corn sometimes is necessary, which is going to be difficult here. The other problem with corn in this area is going to be the spacing. Corn needs to be close to one another uh, in order to, um, to properly, the English word escapes me, but to mate. I think, I, I don't know, uh, that's, that's just a, like to, to make babies or to make, yeah, anyway. Uh, I don't know where my, where my English went this morning. Um, Bestaif in Afrikaans. And uh, the spacing here is just a little bit too far. Now this is exactly the way that they showed on the video, that the way they do it in Senegal, they planted corn that way, Ach, not in, in Senegal, in Burkina Faso. And they actually doubled their yield by doing this. So... Um, we'll see. We'll, we are going to plant patches of corn because we don't have any other seeds. I am going to go to another shop still. It seems like the fastest time that we can get any other seeds other than corn, uh, any other grain seeds, is going to be on 15 January. But um, I see rain predicted for the whole week, coming week, every single day. So that's going to be fantastic. The sad thing about it is that I am leaving tomorrow to go see my family. When I saw the rain prediction this morning, I almost wanted to cancel that. But some of my family I haven't seen in two years. So I really do want to see them. Um, I'll, I'll take you along for that trip into the desert. I think that might be something that you're going to enjoy as well. So I was sitting in this bush here just behind the check dam, thinking about the world, answering YouTube comments reading and learning <coughs> yeah the kids making noises there in the back driving my wife nuts so um okay so this was up for consideration this is why we paused um whether this check dam is in the right place or not wanted to do a whole snake thingy yeah um steve especially felt that it was in the wrong place because he wanted to do uh, then to be there 
so that gets eaten away so that the bank makes a little bit more soil and <clears throat> sorry makes a little bit more snake like now my idea to snake the river isn't to eat it away or to curve it more my idea to snake the river is simply to slow it down um, so I thought it might be worth the while just explaining my thinking process here so I just want to get on the other side this is now all brush removed from the bush so we can use it in these systems there's a bunch more there there's some sticks there these sticks I think the guys gathered for firewood instead of brush building but anyway let me just zoom out a bit so if you ever wonder where I sit when I answer my comments this is find a place in the bush like this and I answer my comments from here <clears throat> that is about 30 centimeters lower than that and I would like if you can see here for instance if we only have a little bit of water like we had the other day it's going to be running right over there over here you'll get no water so my idea is to close this to fill it up the sun is now at exactly the wrong place for this video anyway, okay so um, the idea is to lift it the, the river eventually so it's as high as that and then push it over the banks into swales or into some sort of floodplain whichever comes first it is a bit of a pipe dream it might never come down down to that but the whole snaking of rivers um, i've seen that in rivers that run constantly where the beavers dig on the one side and they make the river longer eventually um, the river the path that the river takes is much longer than it would normally take I don't think this is ever going to be the case here. Um, the river, we need to just slow it down, fill it up with sand, and then have it break its banks. That's my main idea. But I would like all of your comments um, behind my thinking and telling me if that makes sense. The reason why I leave a space is because I had a Namibian farmer approach me and he said to me, listen, I've seen your videos. Your tire structures are not going to last. You're wasting your time. You need super shingles, he calls them, tire trucks, tire, truck tires. You need to fill them up four or five high and then you need to put rods down on the sides and you need to fill the top one with cement. Plus you need to go down until you find um, stone if you don't have stone. You go down at least one tire. And then he showed me some pictures of his structures, the ones that washed away and the ones that was working. And so stopping this river with tires is going to be almost impossible. So I don't want to stop it. I just want to slow it down. It needs to be able to run over, run through, um, slow it down so the soil settles. That is the reason why I left that space open. Here you can see the the angle's quite a lot. There is much deeper than there. And so that's my consideration. I think um, I will only be able to finish this project in the new year in, in, in any case. Tomorrow is my last day on the farm. Um, hopefully. If the things happen the way they need to happen at work. There's an important client coming to see me. I'll be driving down into the desert. Um, fantastic fantastic place to see that I would love to show you as well we are six children most of us married only one left that's not married and my parents has got 23 grandchildren and all of us gather once a year and spend time together last year we couldn't do it because of funds etc um, so they were all having fun while we were here which was crap um, I had work and but uh, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to taking you guys there with you and showing you a bit of 
our culture. Um, that is going to be the end of my story. Just want to show you this. This is fantastic. The kids riding bikes, playing in the river. Have a wonderful day.